But scrolling down here, we can have a look at looking ahead to 2026. So we've got some pretty cool things coming in 2026. But I was just looking here at multiple arrays because I know a lot of people have been really excited about having multiple unraid arrays. So yeah. um, the unraid <laughs> array will just be treated as a different sort of pool, basically. So you can have like a CFS pool, you can have a ButterFS pool or an unraid array pool, inverted commas. But I think when this happens, it's going to be really awesome because then when people do have like a bunch of old drivers on a shelf, they may already have an unraid server, but they don't want to put it into the main array. So they can just chuck all of their old photo drives and that kind of thing, add another drive in there, and then they can have a separate kind of like archive thing of their photographs that they've collected over years and years with a parity drive. So if one of them fails, they can just rebuild and without having to copy data anywhere, they can just use the drives they've got. That's something I'm really excited about. And I think that's when, in my opinion, the additional file systems will really shine is when we have multiple arrays. I would uh, personally probably use it to something like I'd have multiple di or multiple arrays. One array would back up immediately to the other array, and then I'd still have my backup server. So then that backup array would then back up later to my actual backup server. So that's like two redundant copies, all mm -hmm. local. That'd be pretty nice. Yeah, definitely. I do a similar thing with some of my ZFS pools. I have one ZFS pool back up to another in the Unraid server, and I have it back up off-site as well. 